our story today is gonna be about the sun, and I will read another couple book for you. It might not be about a uh, theme week, but it will be a very very fun book. Sun is the closest star to our Earth, and guess what? We I have a fact about the sun. The sun is over four point five billion years old. This looks so old, isn't it? It start at a cloud of dust and gas, so it slowly form a massive center and green heat. It is made of hydrogen and helium gas, and the temperature of the sun is around ten thousand degree Fahrenheit. Oh, I don't think I can live in there. I'm gonna melt. The inner core is much hotter. To put this perfect sip. A day of the ninety degree weather feel hot to us. Water boil at two hundred and twelve degree. What do you think? Ten thousand degree. I don't think we can even stay close. Then some area of the sun surface are cooler than another. Those area look darker. They are called sun spot. Sometimes. Gas on the sun surface erupt, shooting far out of the spot. Those eruption look beautiful, but they can cause a problem here on Earth. They can interfere with the satellite. Our cell phone might not work. Our tele television might not work. The satellite reached the Earth in eight minutes. This is no at the speed of light. This is very important, guys. Don't look directly at the sun, which can hurt your eyes. Scientists study the sun through a special filter telescope. Many ancient cultures thought the sun was a god. The solar system is the name for the ancient Roman word. So, Helio means sun in Greek. I have a very good question for you guys. How does the sun burn? The answer is the sun burn through the thermo thermonuclear fusion, and it is not on fire, but it is very very hot. As the gas in the center heat up, it brings to the surface, and there it cool and fall back to the center. Where the process start again? It's going to be Mother Day soon, guys. So Miss Gib have some um poem about the mother for you guys. To maybe you can just let your mom listen to it, or you can totally uh, read it to her. Okay, all right. Let's do it. Uh, let me see what can we do. I think. Victoria love another one. This one is called Table for Two. My mom make me breakfast on Sunday. When I wake, hot cereal, fresh orange juice, and muffin. If she bakes, everyone still sleeping, except mom and me. We eat, we talk, we laugh a lot, and I am so glad to be having breakfast with my mom all by myself, just me. My mommy rules the world. She helped me with my homework, and always get it right. And she teach me most of the time. It better not to fight, and she drive me to my ballet dance. Another game I play, and the best of all, no matter what, she's always want to stay. She know the name of all my friends. Fit bum and say, my woman. She tell me that there is no can't. There only yes I can. Whenever I have a problem. She knows just what to do in order to solve anything. Be honest, kind, and true. My mom, she is superwoman. She doesn't need a cave or a great big 
S I make out of masking tape. My mommy know most everything when she power are unfair, and I am not scared of anything. My mommy rule the world. This poem is say my first book. My mom, my mom introduced me to her favorite book, and each night at bedtime, she read why I look, and now I have new friends who live. In the page, Mom say when we read, we free word from their cage. Mom and I are reader. We are word woman, true and true. I hope you have a mom like mine who love to read to you. This one very cute story is. Say, mommy, little star. It is so cute. Let's start, okay, guys. A little frog was chasing the falling leaf. Every time he caught one, another one fall. I am going to catch them all. He pant. It might be so hard to catch everyone, said mommy fox. There are too many. Look at all the leaf waiting to fall. A little fox start up at the leaf. Uh, a little fox stare up at the leafy branch, and there are tree full of leaf. He sang, right up high on the top of the sky. Not quite on the top, said Mummy Fox, tickling a little fox nose. The sky doesn't stop there. Something go even higher than a tree. <gasps> What is go higher? What is it go higher? Ask little fox. Bees said, "Mummy fox, watch them." A family of bees bumble away over the top of the tree. Buzz said the little fox, "I am a bee." Buzz buzz at the top of the sky. So does the sky stop there? A little fox ark. Mummy fox wink away. A nosy bumblebee, not, no, not there. She said, "What?" Fly higher than the bee, do you know? Bird, go higher! Shout little fox, and I am a bird flying high to the top of the sky. Little fox fell and ran with the bump. Is that the top? He asked. Does the sky stop there? Mummy fox kissed him better. No, not there, she said. Oh, what does go higher than a bird? But Only after rain, she's arc. The rainbow, love a little fox. Look at me now. I'm dancing on the rainbow up above all the birds, and tree and bees. Is that the top? He arc. Does the sky stop there? Mummy fox shook her head. Something go over the rainbow. She said. What's that? Arc a little fox. Tell me, mommy. Clouds said, "Mummy fox." The cloud float high and far, and look, they are showing us the way home. The little fox watched the cloud drifting by. Let's follow them, he cried, and he set off running and tumbling toward the den. The sun was setting by the time they reached home. Good night, sun said, "A little fox." I know you go higher than the cloud, but you are not right, not high now. That true," said Mummy Fox. "The sun is going to bed just like you. It will climb high in the sky again tomorrow. But look, here's come the moon to shine in. It played a little fox watched the moon brighten overhead. I can almost touch it," he said, even though it is so high. That might be the top," a little fox said. "Does the sky stop there?" "No, not there," said Mummy Fox. "What do you think? Shy even higher than the moon?" A little fox looked at the twinkling sky. "Star!" he laughed. "The star shy higher," and he started to count them as they turned on their light. "There are so many stars," he sighed. So many beautiful stars.
agree, Mummy Fox. A little fox yawned. Oh, so that's the top, he said. Is the sky stop there? Not even there," said Mummy Fox. "You see, there is no top. The stars shine down from the deep dark, quiet sky that go on and on forever." Little Fox ran up into the darkness. He felt warm and safe with Mummy Fox beside him. So the sky go on and on forever," he whispered sleepily. "But where does it start?" Mummy Fox hugged him closer. The sky is just like love, he, she said. It never ends, and it starts right here with my own a little star. What do you think about my story? Is this kill you guys all? Your mommy a little star. It go on and on forever because mommy love you so much.